we are given a dielectric and a conductor and it's given that surface charge density on a conductor is sigma and if the surface charge density on the dielectric adjacent to the conductor is sigma dash then we need to prove that relation between sigma dash and sigma is sigma dash is equal to minus sigma epsilon minus 1 by epsilon so this is relative permittivity of the dielectric so how are we going to do so we'll take a point inside a dielectric and we will write electric field on it in two ways so one you can see that we have a charge density on both conductor and dielectric so by pure electrostatics we can write the electric field on this point second is forget about the charge density on dielectric and just take a con consider the conductor and this point is inside a dielectric so we'll use our standard epsilon formula to give the electric field on this point p so in these two ways one is by the electrostatic method by considering the all the sheets and second by considering the property of the dielectric we are going to calculate the electric field in two ways and equate it so field at point p kept in a dielectric in front of a charged conductor is sigma by epsilon into epsilon uh, let's say epsilon not epsilon and rewriting this field at p by pure electrostatic analysis of charged sheets ep is sigma by epsilon because of this plus charge and sigma by epsilon because of this negative charge so now we are not talking about the property of the dielectric we are just considering them as a sheets now if you are wondering why we did not write sigma by 2 epsilon here and sigma dash by 2 epsilon here it's because see this is a conductor and you must know that in front of a conductor the field is always sigma by epsilon because if the sigma charge is here at some end there will be some other sigma charge also in the vicinity of the conductor so total field in front of a conductor becomes sigma by epsilon similarly in dielectric also if there is a negative charge here there must be some positive charge somewhere so combination of those two will give the total field as sigma dash by epsilon so due to this part alone it will be sigma dash by 2 epsilon due to that part alone it will be sigma dash by 2 epsilon so combinedly it becomes this so similarly because of the this part of the sheet it is sigma by 2 epsilon and because of the rest of the conductor how the charges are there the field again becomes double of that which is sigma by epsilon so the electric field we can now write as sigma by epsilon minus sigma dash by epsilon so we'll compare both and epsilon will get cancelled and we will get our result that charge density is minus sigma 1 minus 1 by epsilon 